Hello and welcome back to another episode of High Point Music's Tone Zone. In today's episode I'm going to show off the last little sounds of the rumble seat by the Analog Alien in its 69 Plexi Marshall sound. Because we happen to have the Supro Drive and the Triple Rec on hand as well, I thought it'd be fun to see how far we can get into that saturated amp sound without losing too much definition to get an idea of if you could use this for your heavier rock and heavier metal sort of sounds. The be all comparison I think is going to be the triple rec. The Supro drive does get a little bit fuzzy at higher gains but it sounds really good saturated uh, and the rumble drive is pretty crisp so I thought that'd be a good thing to check out. For the sake of science this is my clean tone I'm playing my Fender Stratocaster And we're going from my guitar into the triple rec, out of the triple rec into the supro, out of the supro into the rumble seat, the rumble seat into our two notes of clean, and our two notes of clean is running off to our Ableton session. The two notes of clean, I am using the built-in cabinet simulation on it, as I do with all of our reviews and tone zones. It's very simple to use, sounds good. I wouldn't use it without it, basically. So first up, for the high gain sounds, I don't think you can go past the triple rec for reasons. Exhibit A. It's got some great lead tones as well. Pretty bright, it's pretty bitey, it's got a lot of gain. Maybe, maybe one of the better higher gain pedals we've had on the channel. Not maybe, it's definitely one of the higher gain pedals we've had on the channel. Next up we have the Supro Drive, and it sounds a little like this. A little bit fuzzy there, so I'm just gonna back our volume. And then we go to the rich mode, which is a little bit more saturation. has that little bit of that fuzzy edge to it where the bass frequencies kind of punch holes in the sound. It's that compressed kind of sound that gives it that, that effect. However, if you just watch that gain control, you can still get some pretty crisp distortion. So if I'm just gonna back that off a little bit. We still get some pretty cool crispy distorted sounds. So not as high again and maybe not as crisp sounding as the triple rec, but it does that amp saturation sound where at the full gain it hits it pretty hard and everything compresses a little bit, very much like a vintage amplifier. So if you're going for a more older sound, 
out of these two so far, probably the Supro. But if you want that crisper, tighter, more modern rock sound, the Triple Rec is probably going to be where I would go. We move across to the Rumble Seat by Analog Alien. The settings, I've just got the gain cranked, I've got the tone not cutting any treble off, and enough volume that we can hear it. And it sounds like this. lead sounds So the rumble seat has that crispness, like the triple rack, and it's absolute high gain sound. It doesn't get that sag sound that the Supro does. So it's kind of in between to my ears. You get that higher gain, the palm muting is a little bit crisper, and because it doesn't sag, you get a lot more attack into the pedal, which results in a pretty aggressive sound output. I don't think you can be as aggressive with the Supro drive. It's not well, at least for the way I'm using it, it doesn't seem as though it's gained towards or geared towards that high amount of palm muting, really hard attack on the pick. But it does the vintage amp sound probably better than any of them because it has that really, really natural sag response where the compression kicks in and you lose that volume really quickly. So it becomes a bit of a, uh, an art or a bit of a playing technique to really control your dynamics so that when you need to get to that fuzzy point, you can but you know how carefully to pick before that to get the just that amplifier on the edge sound. So out of all of them, I think there's probably a bit of an application that's gonna come into play, whether you would choose one over the other. The Triple Rec is incredibly versatile. It doesn't have as low a gain sound as say the Supro or the Rumble Seat, but it has a lot of control over the EQ and really some of the best high gain sounds on an overdrive pedal we've had. I love the expression pedal control on the Supro. It's a really, really good performance tool and gives you almost a second set of pedal settings in this pedal to be able to get a low gain and a high gain sound. And the rumble seat has a great crisp overdrive sound as well as the delay and reverb tones that make it a bit of a one pedal solution. So probably out of the three of them, I'm pretty partial to the Supro drive sag. I do like that older amplifier sound that you can get from the Supro and the expression pedal is a pretty cool option. So if I had to choose one to go on my pedal board, I'm a bit more of a rock blues player than a heavy rock or metal player. And I do like using my Strymon timeline for delay and another reverb pedal. So this would probably fit in the most easily on the board. This is probably the most versatile as a one pedal solution. Maybe it's cheating having a delay and a reverb in there, but it is what it is. It's all in the one enclosure, so I think we can call that par for the course. And if you were the kind of person that just loves that hard rock sort of sound, you're probably not going to use much delay and reverb, and the triple rec is going to be the way to go for you there as well. So, that's our quick little run through on those three amp in a box pedals. They all do a pretty good job, they all sound different, but if you're a good guitarist and you want to sit down and spend the time to make the sounds with it, I think they can cross genres pretty, pretty easily otherwise. If you'd like to pick one of these pedals up for yourself, you can follow the link below. Don't forget to give us a like, a share, a thumbs up, a subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more of this kind of thing, leave a comment. We do appreciate that feedback. And if you'd like to help us continue to put out as much good quality content as frequently as possible, then you can follow the link below to become one of our Patreons. We do appreciate the support. It keeps our channel going. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.